Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm just doing a little review of the Helite Air Nest or Helite Air Vest. Basically this is a, an airbag for motorcyclists. Uh, a few years ago, two or three companies started producing potential airbags or air jackets for motorcyclists to wear. And it was quite interesting. Some motorcyclists were quite interested in the product. Others thought it was a bit of a bit of a harebrained idea really and I must admit I was a little bit sceptical but uh, I recently came across this particular product made by Helite or Helite depending on how you want to say it and I was quite impressed I saw a little demonstration of it and I thought actually I'd, I'd rather like to find out a bit more about this so I did a bit of research watched a few of the amazing videos that are online horse riders obviously are in a similar situation they're high up traveling at you know reasonable speed and they've they've taken the air vest on board quite quite rapidly actually uh, there's some pretty amazing shots of these guys falling and the horses actually falling on top of them afterwards and they literally get up afterwards after this air vest or air nest has actually uh, gone off so I thought I'd try one out well this is what it is I've got two units that I've been testing um, this is the plain black version I'll do you a little twirl so you can see what it looks like I'm wearing it over a normal black leather jacket at the minute and as you can see it kind of blends in quite well actually uh, very comfortable to wear three buckles up on the front and it extends down the back quite well if you look at some of the reviews where you see this thing going off I'm not going to demonstrate it right now but you can see how potentially effective it could be you certainly don't notice it when you're wearing it the main active part of the vest is, is this kind of system here I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second but basically you have uh, a tether which attaches to part of your motorcycle mine's attached on my GS just under the front of the front seat uh, it clips in you're then attached to your motorcycle now basically what happens is that when you get involved in an incident or an accident and you leave your bike you, you hit something or you go for a slide down the road this tether is then pulled and there's like a UV joint stainless steel components on here as that pulls out the gas cartridge is triggered and the airbag that goes around the front of your chest over around your neck and goes around your back is then activated and it's activated according to the manufacturer's instructions at about 100 milliseconds 100 millisecond of a second which is incredibly quick and if you see the slow-mo bits of video of it it really is very very fast obviously it needs to be because if you're traveling at you know 60 70 miles an hour or 100 plus in some cases uh, you need this thing to go off very rapidly but it does seem to be quite a, quite a clever product the other good thing about this uh, gas cylinder is that the product's actually reusable uh, cylinders cost about 16 pounds from the manufacturer which is pretty good the vest can be reused quite a number of times and I believe the manufacturers recommend that you have it serviced if it has gone off two or three times that you have it serviced perhaps every perhaps every three years or so uh, but that seems pretty good value to me okay so this is the, the high-vis version of the Helite air vest uh, exactly the same as the black unit but obviously it meets all the current high-vis requirements I'll give you a twirl now, this particular one has got the tether actually on the end of it um, the tether on my motorcycle is exactly the same component it's detachable using a little plastic clip pretty useful feature really because I think if you if you were walking around with the tether on it uh, one of your nice mates down the pub is probably going to set it off for you 16 pounds a go for each canister so I suppose it's not the end of the world but uh, I'd imagine if you're not expecting this thing to go off it's going to be a bit of a shock you'll be able to see in some of the other videos that I've done a link to down there so uh, basically I've got a large size air nest on at the moment uh, they make numerous sizes I'm six foot one about 14 stone fits me really nicely it's got quite a bit of leeway on the velcro adjusters on the air nest uh, I found that different jackets if I've got this jacket obviously this is a relatively slim fit if I'm wearing a textile enduro type jacket on there where you've got a bit more padding or for winter use you can actually adjust the vest quite a bit now I would guess that when you're wearing it for the most protection from this you probably want to have it as a fairly snug fit so that it, it cradles your body in a more in a stiffer kind of position um, I think if you're in the process of, you know you're sliding down the road the, the the stiffer the jacket holds you back and your torso probably the more effective it's going to be and certainly as far as your crash helmet's concerned if the jacket is fitting tight when it's inflated it's going to support the helmet and stop that neck the lateral movement or the backwards or forwards which is the thing that potentially is going to kill you if you fall off your bike okay so I've taken the air vest off you can see it's a nice lightweight unit 
very nicely made actually when you open it up it's uh, basically it's polyester um, it's got looks a bit like cordura fabric in there nice little touches like the velcro around the neck that basically keeps the neck sitting slightly upright which helps to make it more comfortable you're not going to get any areas that rub obviously you've got you've got your normal day glow and you've got the reflective stripes in it as well uh, generally feels like a really nicely made product actually one thing I didn't mention also is that the, the vest has actually got a built-in built-in armor and it's CE approved armor inside this so when you're wearing it if you're wearing it over you know most jackets have actually got built-in back armor in anyway so you've actually got double the protection there which I think is quite useful but because it's made quite you know the jacket itself is quite flexible the back bit is, is fairly stiff but again because of the shape of it it actually seems to conform quite nicely to the average kind of back. I've changed my jackets now I put my textile jacket on it really just to show you how well the vest blends in I'll do another little twirl for you and you can see I've got uh, you know pretty conventional city come enduro type winter textile coat on I've uh, got the usual CE approved elbow shoulders back protector in it uh, yeah vest is, is pretty good you know very comfortable it actually feels quite snug and it certainly gives you a kind of a sense of security even though the things you know completely deflated at the moment um, the other feature that I liked about it is I like the way that the actual the length at the front is relatively short so it's not going to cause you any problems when you bend forward if you're on a sports bike there's nothing worse than something digging in your front uh, this particular jacket works really nicely because the jacket I can still access with pockets as normal and I think that's quite an important feature um, pricing pricing I think is pretty good now you know at the first thought you know how much would you expect something like this to be certainly some of the you know the big manufacturers that make kind of jackets with it all built in you're looking at thousands of pounds worth well this unit actually retails at about 450 pounds which when you look at the price of modern helmets you know decent helmets these days are certainly costing you 400 sometimes 500 pounds more so 450 pounds for what's basically uh, an airbag for a motorcycle you know which is potentially going to save your life I think is a pretty good deal the highs of these version I think is about 20 pounds more uh, probably only the extra cost because it actually has a little bit more tip material in the front the high vis version has got another flap on the front and to conform to the current European or CE standards it has to have a, a certain percentage area that's that's high vis and obviously with this version where you've got straps going across you can't have the straps over on the front on the high vis um, so all in all I think this is I think this is a good product and certainly I'm, I'm going to be wearing this pretty much most of the time that I ride on the bike and you know I'm riding a 1200 GS I ride a Harley I also ride I'm quite I love my Vespers um, I think you can ride this on virtually every, any kind of bike you know whether you're a sports bike rider uh, adventure bike rider or even a Harley riders a lot of the Harley riders now they like they like the black waistcoat so there you go you're in straight away so I had a little flip through the brochure they make a number of sizes uh, right down from children's sizes up to large Harley rider sizes uh, this is a large size that I've got on at the moment um, they also make lady sizes and that's quite important because I think you know there's a lot of us guys out there who like to take the other half on the back um, some of us like taking the kids on teenagers and that and to be honest if I was wearing this I'd like to think if I've got a pillion on the back that they're having the same level of protection as me uh, again I think it's quite good because the units it's so slim on the front of you you know you can certainly have somebody sitting behind you without this actually causing you any kind of problem uh, as far as where they're going to attach it if you're a pillion I'd imagine they could probably just clip this in either on the strap that goes between on a lot of bike seats uh, maybe down the side on the frame or even on the rear rack just got to remember that it's behind you uh, a little point about that is that I did find also getting on and off the motorcycle that um, you know your first thought is oh god what happens if you forget you've got the tether on you step off of your bike and you pull it you know activate the vest well because it's about 30 pounds pull it's very obvious when this tether it's got a bit of elastic in it so it's got a bit of a give so as soon as you get off you very quickly become used to that feeling and that kind of stops you and think oh right just need to unclip it very important obviously when you're just getting off your bike going into the petrol station to fill up with some fuel um, so that's review of the Helite Air Nest. Thanks for watching.